Hello everyone. I hope you're having a pleasant day. We're here again to explore another meaningful learning experience in general mathematics. Our today's lesson is all about functions and its operation. The important concept that you need to understand is that adding, subtracting, and multiplying two or more functions will result in another function. Dividing two functions will also result in another function provided that the denominator or divisor is not a zero function. Let f and g be functions. Their sum denoted by f plus g is the function defined by f plus g of x equals f of x plus g of x. Their difference denoted by f minus g is the function defined by f minus g of x equals f of x minus g of x. Their product denoted by f dot g is the function defined by f dot g of x equals f of x dot g of x. Their quotient denoted by f over g is the function defined by f over g of x equals f of x over g of x. To apply the definitions into examples, consider the given functions. From the given functions, we have example 1. Determine the following functions. From the given example, the solution to number one. The solution to number 2. And for number three, The solution for number 4. And finally, the solution for number 5.
And now let us proceed to a more challenging examples. Solve the problem that follow, given the functions. From the given function. Here s example 2, express the function f sub 1 of x equals x squared plus 3, as a sum or difference of the functions above. And for the solution? It can involve some trial and error. Let us try adding q of x, and f of x, and check if the sum is x squared plus 3. Example 3, express the function f sub 2 of x, equals x squared minus 4 x plus 1, as a sum or difference of the functions above. And for the solution? Again, it can involve some trial and error. Let us try checking if q of x, minus f of x, gives x squared, minus 4 x plus 1. And here's example 4. Express the function f sub 3 of x, equals 2x squared plus x, divided by x minus 1, as a sum or difference of the functions above. And for the solution? Just like the previous examples, it can involve some trial and error. Because 2x squared plus x, has x minus 1 as a denominator, then r of x, equals 2x plus 1, divided by x minus 1, must be one of the functions, in our solution. Try adding f of x, and r of x, and check if the sum is 2x squared plus x, divided by x minus 1. Let's continue exploring to products and quotients of functions through examples. Example 5. Express the function, g sub 1 of x, equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared, plus 2x plus 2, as a product or quotient, of the functions above. And the solution? Again, it can involve some trial and error. Since 2x cubed minus 3x squared, plus 2x plus 2, is cubic then it is possibly the product of f of x, and q of x. Example 6, express the function g sub 2 of x, equals x minus 1, as a product or quotient of the functions above solution, again, it can involve some trial and error. Since the function r of x equals 2x plus 1 over x minus 1, involves x minus 1 as the denominator, then the goal is to get rid of 2x plus 1. This can be done by dividing f of x by r of x. And now, let's summarize the answers in the previous examples using this new notation.
And that would be all for functions and its operations. Here's hoping that you have learned from this. Thank you.